Hey, welcome back. It's Deepak with Keysight. First of all, let me thank you for sending us your questions, your videos, and really supporting our contest. And just great questions overall across the spectrum from RF to core to network protocol. And we really wanted to focus on your broader questions, especially when it comes to device testing. When I say device testing, I'm talking about device testing in a live lab network. Here's a question from a tier one operator in the US. How can I significantly reduce the time it takes to release my new 5G devices and new versions without compromising on my test quality? Great question. And really what the operator is saying here is, how can the operator in the shortest amount of time release their new 5G devices and still be confident that these devices would perform really well on their network and be of really high quality as well? So at Keysight, we've been seeing a ton of new devices hit the market since 2019. And as per a GSA report that just came out March of 2021, there are almost 703 new devices announced globally, of which 61% of those devices are commercially available. So that's almost 431 devices, of which 298 of them are 5G phones. There are 50 CPEs, and the rest really are of different form factors, so that's enterprise routers, laptops, tablets, uh, drones, dongles, cameras, USB terminals. So almost 22 different form factors. The other thing GSA has predicted is that by the end of the second quarter this year, there would almost be 500 new commercial devices. So clearly we are seeing an upward trend in the device ecosystem. It's definitely exciting to see all these new 5G devices and 5G networks being rolled out worldwide. However, the operator still has to go through a lot of challenges in order to make this a reality. Anytime a new device is announced by a device manufacturer or a phone vendor, the operator has to test these devices on their own unique network in order to make sure it's fully compatible. Also with these devices comes their own flood of software and hardware releases. So they could also be firmware upgrades that have to be tested by the operator before they release it out to the network. There are constantly evolving network upgrades as well from the operator. So, so far we've looked at challenges from a device standpoint, but when we look at it from a network standpoint, operators are building out bigger, better networks going from 4G to 5G at this point. And as part of that, they're rolling out different transition elements as well, like the non-standalone, 5G non-standalone, or standalone at some point, along with other technologies like voice over NR, or they're testing out Volte on their existing network. And anytime these technologies are being rolled out, it is important to keep in mind their existing customers and make sure that they are not impacted and it is still a seamless transition when they move to their new technologies. And finally, performance related issues. These devices go through so many challenging conditions Stress conditions like challenging RF environments, battery heating issues, handover issues, and instead of running some functional tests, it's always better to run robust tests in the lab before they are released out to their network. Keysight's Performance Benchmarking Solution, or PBM solution, addresses all of those challenges from a device testing standpoint. Especially, the PBM application allows you to test real physical UEs alongside a live lab network. And these live lab networks could be a 4G or a 5G base station, which could be an E node B, a G node B, or ORAN elements as well. PBM also has centralized access to control all your 5G devices via Nemo Outdoor. And Nemo Outdoor has support for all the major chipsets like Qualcomm, Samsung, and HiSilicon. There are also packaged test cases within the platform like data performance testing, Volte, voice over NR testing, and also over the top application testing. And with the OTT over the top testing, you could test WhatsApp, Netflix, Instagram, Facebook, and many more applications that the real world uses today. This information collected from the device, and that could be chipset layer information, layer one to layer three or layer seven, is rolled into a single performance core which tells the operator immediately how the device is performing. Finally, 
There is Keysight's open tap interface that allows you to integrate into other lab equipment like channel emulators or attenuators um, in case you wanted to do more complex testing like stress scenarios or handover scenarios. All these tests that are done in the lab prior to the release gives the operator a very good indication of the quality of these devices and also how they would end up performing in the real world.